Muscle TV, proudly brought to you by Maxines, for the body you want, and Maxes, because life's too short to be small. Hello everyone, I'm Tony Doherty and welcome to Muscle TV. It's our last episode for the year, folks, and a fantastic one to go out on, as tonight, Scotty Goebel steps out of the gym and into the role of reporter as he takes a look at the ever-growing area of pre-workouts. And in part two of a segment we did a couple of weeks ago, I'll be showing you the correct way to do more of the most incorrectly performed exercises in the gym. All this and more, folks, but first it's time to head into the gym with Dave Cutler and Sam Muzzered. The boys are back to tackle chest. Take it away, fellas. Well, today we're going to be training chest. I like volume training. Uh, lifting a lot of heavy weight, my joints don't seem to like it that much. And because he's a bit older, try to keep the weight a bit lighter so his joints don't get hurt too much. Appreciate that. That's, That's nice, a good one. So uh, I like training a lot of volume, get a lot of pump, a lot of blood into the muscle, uh, stretch the muscle as much as we can as well. I like training chest and I get a good pump out of it. Um, you feel big, you feel full, so no, I enjoy training chest. Not as much as what he's going to do though, probably about a three set man and I'm done, three or four. You need about five or six yeah, five exercises. exercises in there, so it should be fun. So this, this kind of routine is for probably everyone, but predominantly I guess you could say it would be for, for people that want to build more muscle. Because the intensity is high, uh, you're getting a lot of volume into the muscle, it helps to make it grow a bit bigger because you're stretching the fascia. Mm. But it's good for beginners as well because the weight's not that heavy. Should be a killer. We're going to be starting with the pec fly machine. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of volume, so we'll be doing four sets, with each set having four drop sets, trying to pause on the contraction for every single set. So it's eight. Yeah, it's going to be. Don't we usually just do three? Yeah, no. We can't count to... over three. <laughs> <laughs> the volume is going to be really high, but uh, it's going to get the chest really pumped. So it's also going to pre-fatigue our chest. So. When we go to lifting uh, the heavier weights, it's not going to be as taxing on the body. I do find that when I lift heavy weight, my joints don't seem to like it that much. So doing an isolated exercise and getting a lot of blood into that muscle helps to warm up my muscles ready for when I go to the next exercise. Next exercise is flat bench, so four sets of 12 to 15. I'm assuming you're dropping sets there as well, are we? On the very last set. We'll just a, a just, one. Set. just Just, just one. something different. Cool. I like drop sets. So trying to lift a, a bit heavier weight this time, because the, the muscles are already going to be relatively pumped and the joints are nice and warm, it's not going to be as bad for those joints. It's still a good compound exercise, so it helps to involve a lot of muscle groups. But the chest is already going to be pre-fatigued, so it's going to make it a bit harder to, to get those reps out. I, I feel more control with the barbell, and I, I can lift a little bit heavier. 
So with the dumbbells, just getting the weights up, dropping them back down, it's just, it takes a lot of effort. Yeah, I think it's too hard to control, especially when you get really in the heavy lifts. Like lifting up 60, 55 kilos, you can do, do a damage if you haven't got the right spotter there. So I'm all for barbell as well. So the next exercise will be an incline barbell press where we will be doing some time under tension work. So we'll be controlling the, the weight for, for three reps, moving it slow on the way down and then slow on the way back up, aiming for about six seconds each way of the movement. And then we'll do three reps at a normal speed and then straight into the three slow again and then three at the normal speed again. So a total of 12 reps, but we're gonna try and keep the weight moving so that we're getting a, a good pump. I think I'm gonna have to study this. Yeah. Because of the weight, how we're going to be moving the weight, moving it a lot slower, we won't be able to lift nowhere near as heavy. So it's just creating that time under tension so the muscles are really going to be fatigued. There's no momentum within the movement. The muscles have to contract to be able to move that weight from A to B. So you can't just throw in your triceps into the movement in your shoulders to get the weight up to the top. You want to feel your, your muscles contract and squeeze as you're pushing the weight up. Well, I haven't done this type of, tra type of training beforehand. I'm not going to do it ever again. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. It's something different, lighter weight. You can definitely feel the pump, definitely feel the burn. Don't use as much weight or anything. I can use same intensity with this weight. That'll be good for you. This is pretty regular for me, so I've been feeling pretty good, and it makes me feel even better knowing that he's having a little bit of a hard time. Struggling on here. Oh, just a bit fatigued, that's all. See, but the only difference is that He's this big, and I'm this big, and I'm doing this. So whatever he's doing is working pretty good. I hope so. But you could probably include this and just go. Yeah, well, I think I might I'd definitely include it. Something will definitely feel it, so. One more lot to go. Cool, one more, let's do it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do these cable crossovers, and we're gonna get a really good stretch, so the weight's gonna be relatively light. We're gonna control the movement, get a really good squeeze, about 12 to 15 reps, then we're gonna drop straight to the ground, do as many push-ups as we can until we can't do anymore.
The greatest anabolic supplement has been created by Alpha Pro Nutrition. A three-in-one formula that increases natural testosterone for building extreme muscle mass, decreases water retaining estrogen, and stimulates nitric oxide production for massive pumps. Start maximizing your workouts with Greatest by Alpha Pro Nutrition. Greatness expected.